Hobart is the capital city of Tasmania, an island state of Australia, located on the southeastern coast of Tasmania. Hobart is a city with a rich history and stunning natural surroundings. The city itself is nestled between the rugged peaks of Mount Wellington and the picturesque waters of the River Derwent. This natural beauty can be enjoyed in a variety of ways, from hiking and exploring to simply taking a leisurely stroll. Along the waterfront, Hobart is also a city with a fascinating history, reflected in its well-preserved colonial architecture and historic landmarks. Visitors can explore the city's past by taking a stroll through Battery Point. Explore the city, a charming neighborhood, with narrow streets lined with historic cottages or by visiting the Cascades Female Factory Historic Site. Cascades Female Factory Historic Site, a former women's prison that offers a glimpse into Tasmania's convict history. In addition to its natural beauty and historic landmarks, Hobart is also known for its thriving cultural scene. The city is home to a range of museums, galleries, and performing arts venues, showcasing both local and international talent. Food and drink are also an integral part of Hobart's culture, with a range of restaurants, cafes and markets offering fresh, local produce and a variety of culinary experiences. Overall, Hobart is a city with a unique blend of natural beauty, history, culture and gastronomy, offering something for every type of traveler. Welcome to my channel. This channel brings you the six of best day trips from Hobart. Day Trips 1. Morning, Mount Wellington. Mount Wellington is an iconic landmark of Hobart, towering 1270 meters above sea level. The mountain offers stunning panoramic views of Hobart and the surrounding areas. The mountain has a rich Aboriginal history and has been an important landmark for the local indigenous people for thousands of years. Lunch. Jackman and Macross Bakery. Jackman and Macross is a historic bakery located in Hobart's Battery Point neighborhood. The bakery is famous for its artisan bread, pastries and cakes. The building that houses the bakery was built in the 1830s and is a beautiful example of Georgian architecture. Afternoon. Museum of Old and New Mona is a contemporary art museum located on the banks of the River Derwent. It is known for its provocative and thought-provoking exhibitions and stunning architecture. The museum features a range of contemporary and modern art, as well as ancient artifacts and antiquities. Dinner the Source Restaurant is located within the Mona Complex and offers a range of modern Australian cuisine and cooking by using local ingredients. The restaurant has won numerous awards for its food and wine. Day Trips 2 Morning Port Arthur Historic Site Port Arthur is a former convict settlement located on the Tasman Peninsula, approximately 90 minutes drive from Hobart. The site is a UNESCO World Heritage listed site and is one of Australia's most significant historic sites. It operated as a prison between 1830 and 1877, housing some of Australia's most notorious criminals. Lunch Felons Brewery Felons Brewery is a craft brewery located in the historic Port Arthur Precinct. The brewery offers a range of locally brewed beers and ales, as well as delicious pub food. Afternoon Tasman National Park Tasman National Park is a stunning coastal park located on the Tasman Peninsula. The park offers a range of walking trails, beaches, and stunning coastal vistas. It is home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, including seals, dolphins, and whales. Dinner. Dunali Waterfront Cafe and Gallery. The Dunali Waterfront Cafe and Gallery is a charming restaurant located in the seaside town of Dunali. The restaurant offers a range of seafood and modern Australian cuisine, as well as stunning views of the water. Day Trips 3. Morning. Bruni Island. Bruni Island is a beautiful island located off the southeast coast of Tasmania. The island is known for its pristine beaches, rugged coastlines, and stunning natural beauty. It is home to a range of wildlife, including penguins, seals, and wallabies. Lunch. Ketchup Oysters is a family-run oyster farm and restaurant located on Bruni Island. The restaurant offers a range of delicious seafood, 
including oysters, scallops, and fish and chips, afternoon. Adventure Bay is a beautiful bay located on the eastern side of Bruny Island. The bay is home to a range of marine life, including dolphins, seals, and whales. It offers a range of walking trails, beaches, and stunning views. Dinner. The Bruny Island Cheese Co. is a renowned cheesemaker located on Bruny Island. The company produces a range of artisan cheeses using local mill and traditional methods. The restaurant offers a range of cheese plates, as well as other delicious food and drinks. Day trips for Morning, Richmond. Richmond is a charming historic town, located approximately 25 minutes drive from Hobart. The town is known for its well-preserved colonial architecture, including the oldest bridge in Australia, Richmond Bridge which was built in 1823. The town also features a range of boutique shops, cafes, and galleries. Lunch. The Richmond Tasting House is a unique venue that showcases some of Tasmania's finest food and beverages. The venue features a range of tasting experiences, including wine, beer, cheese, and chocolate tastings. Afternoon. Bono on Wildlife Sanctuary is a sanctuary located approximately 30 minutes drive from Hobart. The sanctuary is home to a range of native Australian wildlife, including kangaroos, wallabies, wombats, and Tasmanian devils. The sanctuary is dedicated to the conservation and rehabilitation of Tasmania's wildlife. Dinner Franklin is a highly acclaimed restaurant. Located in Hobart's waterfront precinct, the restaurant offers a range of modern Australian cuisine using locally sourced ingredients. The restaurant has won numerous awards, including being named Australia's Restaurant of the Year in 2018. Day Trips 5 Morning Salamanca Market is a vibrant outdoor market that takes place every Saturday in Hobart's Salamanca precinct. The market features over 300 stalls selling a range of locally made products, including arts and crafts, gourmet food and clothing. Lunch. Street Eats at Franco. Street Eats at Franco is a popular food truck venue located in Hobart's Franklin Square. The venue features a range of food trucks, selling a range of international cuisine, including Mexican, Korean and Thai. Afternoon. The Royal Tasmanian Botanical Gardens is a stunning botanical garden located in Hobart's Queen's Domain. The gardens feature a range of plants and flowers from around the world as well as a range of historic buildings and monuments. Dinner Snort Kitchen is a modern European-style restaurant located in Hobart's Salamanca Precinct. The restaurant offers a range of small plates as well as larger share plates using locally sourced ingredients. Day Trip 6 Morning Battery Point Battery Point is a historic neighborhood located just south of Hobart CBD. The neighborhood features a range of well-preserved historic buildings, including some of Hobart's oldest homes. The neighborhood is also home to a range of boutique shops, cafes, and restaurants. Lunch Retro Cafe Retro Cafe is a popular cafe located in Hobart's Battery Point neighborhood. The cafe in a retro-themed setting. It offers a range of delicious food and drinks. Afternoon. Hobart's waterfront precinct is a bustling hub of activity, featuring a range of restaurants, bars and shops. The waterfront offers stunning views of the River Derwent and is a great place to relax and soak up the atmosphere. Dinner. The Glass House is a beautiful restaurant located in Hobart's waterfront precinct. The restaurant offers stunning views of the river and the city and features a range of modern Australian cuisine using locally sourced ingredients. Hope you like the six of best day trips and also hope that you can explore this beautiful city. From its rich history and cultural attractions to its stunning natural scenery and delicious cuisine, Hobart truly has something for everyone. Whether you're interested in hiking, art, or just soaking up the laid-back Tasmanian lifestyle, this city has it all. 
I encourage you to continue exploring Hobart. There's always something new to discover in this vibrant and dynamic city. And if you're looking to venture further afield, Tasmania has so much to offer. From the rugged wilderness of the west coast to the picturesque vineyards of the east coast. If you found the videos useful please hit that subscribe button and let's continue this journey together. Really appreciate your support and so glad that we can share our passions and interests together. See you in the next video.